in this question, we want to know how many moles we would have if we had 8.25 times 10 to the 24th atoms of copper. And so we'll write down our number of atoms that we have, 8.25 times 10 to the 24th atoms of copper. And Avogadro's number is going to be involved here again, only this time because we have atoms as our unit and we want to turn it into moles. It'll be one mole over 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And our unit here will be atoms. Now, when we go to our calculator, this is where you have the chance that you could make a mistake. A lot of times, students like to type this in as 6.022 multiplication sign 1023. And if you do this without the parentheses in the right place, you can cause yourself a, head <clears throat> a headache because it'll get typed in to your calculator like this. And so students will type this in and they'll get the wrong answer. Instead, type it in this way. If you use the double E button, that tells it to put it in scientific notation, and this is going to ensure that we don't run into a logic error with our calculator. So when we type it into our calculator this way, what we should get as our correct answer is 13.7 moles of copper.